welcome to. Welcome to the year four production of Twelve Nights. Louder. Uh, of Twelve Nights. By. By. William Shakespeare, directed by Mrs. Farr. <laughs> Action. For it, music be the food of love, play on. Friends, I declare I'm in love with the fair Countess Olivia. What wonderful news, Count Orsino, Duke of Illyria. Congratulations. You must be so happy, my lord. I've seen her. She's a... I hear Countess Olivia. I hear Countess Olivia is indeed beautiful. I've seen her. She's a bit of a light. <laughs> ah, Julia, if only you knew, Olivia has nothing to do with me. When I asked her out on a date, but she said no. Outrageous! She should be falling at your feet. Where did you say you would take her? To the Top Gear Horse and Carriage Show. How could anyone resist such romantic dates? <laughs> Women! <laughs> Gentlemen, be tolerant. Oh, Count Orsino, don't take it personally. I hear the poor Count uh, Olivia is still mourning her brother's death. That, uh, thank, you. Uh, thank you for the information, sir. That puts a different light on things I must tread delicately. Batten down the hatches into stormy night at sea! Whoa! Ashamed. Ah, how is my niece 
Olivia doing? Still mourning for her dead brother? Yes, Sir Toby. She's heartbroken. Poor girl, she needs a suitor, a boyfriend to turn her up. I agree that she's lonely. I brought my good friend Sir Andrew A. Duchy, a fine fellow and very, very rich, a suitor for her. She turned him down. <coughs> what a ridiculous man! A ridiculous fellow. You're unkind, Maria. And he's a great sport, you know. I would cheer your mistress up. Here he comes now. Judge for yourself. Hello, hello, hello. One and all. <laughs> Like sheriff's post 
But we'll speak with you. I would like to make Maria my mass. Are you the mistress of the house? I don't want to waste my speech. I am the mistress and you are very cheeky. Little mask, let me see your face. You are very pretty and also very selfish. Not to share your beauty with the world. Your master Orsino knows that though I admire him well enough, I cannot love him or anyone. If I were Orsino, I would camp out at your gate until you went on a date with me. Ha! I like your person, young fellow, and you are handsome face. Perhaps I wouldn't mind if you were at my gate instead of Orsino. <laughs> <laughs> but now tell your master I will hear no more messages from him. Well, unless you fancy popping by to tell me how he reacts. Good day, madam. Mm, he's a bit of a dish, that young fellow. We'll find a date with him. <laughs> I'll send him. This ring and pretend that I forgot it. Barbolio? Yes, madam. And after that boy, I'll return this ring to him. I'll have, tell him I'll have none of his master's advances. And if he drops by tomorrow, I'll tell him why. Oh dear, I have seemed to rather fall in for that boy. <laughs> reaction. Now be gone. Ring? I gave Olivia no ring. This must be a gift for me from the Countess herself. Oh no, I fear she has fallen in love with my disguise. Cesario. Oh what a tangled web. Orsino loves Olivia. Olivia loves me. And I love Orsino. in a rotten potato. <laughs> Maria, Maria, a scoop of wine. What is going on now? What indeed, Maria? You value your job here. Keep your friends quieter away from Count Olivia. They speak to Maria like that. It wasn't her fault that she was making the noise. You should all be locked in the stocks. Well, Volo should be locked up in the stock. Yeah, miserable old fool. Pompous fool. I, ha I have an idea. Let's show, we should show him up. Good, Good idea. idea. I know. I'll write a letter to you, Malvolio, to make it look as if it's from the Countess Olivia, telling him what boy he is. No, telling him that she is in love with him. <laughs> Who was 
wash the way see. I'm sure she'd love you. If she was her, uh, nearly gave myself away then. Well, you're handsome, though. Well, you're handsome enough. But your twin sister must be prettier. Um. <sighs> You're talking riddles, Cesario. Get over to Olivia's house and try and get later for him. Uh. Oh no. Oh no, and have Olivia chase me? Get in there, man! Or are you a mouse? Oh, 
Viola and Orsina, I now pronounce you husbands and wives. <laughs> 